Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back. One of the questions I receive a lot is, Vigoman, how do you plan these big projects that you do? In today's video, I hope to address these problems and help you with your bigger projects so you can build whatever you want, how big you want and still make it come out pretty. When it comes to building bigger projects in Minecraft, it all comes to the proper planning and as people say, failing to plan is planning to fail. I do believe that really works for Minecraft as well. Uh, if you just start a big project, let's say you're inspired to do uh, some Winterfell from Game of Thrones and you just find a place and place a stone brick block and start from there Eventually you're gonna have some problems because you don't really know how big it's gonna be Maybe the block you place isn't really fitting there. Maybe you don't have enough space You really want to make sure that you have done the the at least the basic planning of where things should be how tall how big uh, what shape uh, and all that kind of stuff before we place any single blocks. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I do this with an example of a project I'm going to be starting pretty soon on my channel, which is going to be fun. I want to do like a, a Kraus perch from the Witcher 3 game inspire build. And in today's episode, we're going to do the planning of that together. I'm going to take you through every single of the steps, something I've talked about in the past and uh, something is probably brand new for you guys. I just want to point out that there are many ways of doing this and this is only the way I do it so let's see if this works for you please go ahead and do it if there's something you feel is wrong and other ways you can make it better just take whatever you feel like is beneficial for you so the first tip I want to give you is to get your inspiration flow and you can do that everywhere a quick google search works following people on reddit or like going to slash castle on reddit and stuff there's a lot of inspiration there but what you want to make sure you do is just to get a feel of what you want to do and the size of it maybe do some research of what is special with this this kind of build you want to do and and kind of get an idea of uh, like a little bit of a mental idea of what your castle is going to look like eventually then what I like to do is to take a paper uh, it could be on hand and here I'm doing it in uh, Google uh, documents uh, and what you want to do is just to write down every single room you think you want to have in your uh, castle or build or uh, if you would do a city every single profession you might want to do uh, but everything you want to include in your build uh, you want to um, add in here and then you can do like I've done here like sub points of uh, maybe some details that you want to do so let's say I want to have a great hall that's going to be pretty key since we're doing a little bit of a castle and some chambers we need the lord's chamber lady chambers some for the kids maybe some guest chambers as well a uh, kitchen is very important some pantry and stuff uh, also you can see here rookery Ruin tower, okay, so I wouldn't do a rookery, but I want it to be ruined. That's pretty cool Same goes for stables again from the witcher game no spoilers here But the stables kind of burned down so ruined and burned down and we're gonna do a chapel as well So you just want to compile a list of everything that you feel like is important to add to your build the castle and stuff like that then before I go in game even I like to make a, a small simple plan because I find it easier to move the plan when you have it in a digital format like here just Google drawings it works perfectly let's call this uh, layout okay so just a simple like this and then you maybe take uh, just a square uh, let's say this one and then we call that a great hall okay so that's gonna be the great hall block uh, let's do uh, another one and this might be like um, the chambers so that's gonna be all the chambers uh, more or less and uh, we can like adjust these as we go uh, so what you want to do is just kind of get all the different uh, things in here and then uh, you can start rearranging them making some cool layouts and it's gonna make it a lot easier eventually when you uh, yeah, find a plan and then implement that into Minecraft. So after adding all the different parts I wanted to have for the castle, I will be building. Uh, you can see we have them all around here. Not everything is actually on here. You can see that the buttery, uh, pantry and, and stuff like that is not on here because uh, probably that's going to be in the basement, maybe below the chambers or below the prison and guard rooms and stuff like that. So uh, those kind of stuff I just kind of leave out, but I just want to get at least some of the main buildings in so that we can have something to, to start planning with. Uh, so basically what I've done is I've taken the image I've made in my head from uh, the game and, and pictures and all that stuff and kind of created this thing that um, 
or use the blocks we made to to shape up this map I made so we have the great hall up here uh, and the chambers in this bigger building right here and then we see if we just kind of place them in a little bit of a circle that's kind of cool the rookery standing here like a little bit of an L building and a gatehouse here uh, actually it's going to be a gate below here as well as in the real or not a real but a one from the game and uh, we have some small guard posts around here and what I've just done is taken the simple building blocks we made move them around shuffle them around to see what works and, and create a shape that can work with idea that I have made for what I want my building to look like the next part of the planning is to figure out what blocks and what scales to use because I think that if you don't really know what blocks looks good before you start building you might just stick with one and then eventually like a week two weeks maybe a month down the line you're figuring out that maybe this block isn't the best one for what I'm doing here and it unless you have worlded it it's a really big pain to to correct that uh, and sometimes people just end up not doing it and that avoids the building from being as good as it could have been and we don't want that we want our build to be as good as possible so what I've done here is I just made some small examples here this gatehouse here is almost a replica from the second gatehouse or third gatehouse I think of Kraus Perch uh, in the game and uh, we have this brick foundation and this wooden hoardings almost on, on on the top here and I'm just kind of playing a little bit with the textures so we have this Roman bricks uh, of course this is Conquest Reforged uh, just because I want to do my build in that eventually but if you're doing this in vanilla same rules applies okay uh, so we have some bricks here trying to just make some cool combinations here uh, making a little bit of shape so I get an idea of how big is this gatehouse gonna be so that when I start planning I don't let, let's say I yeah I want to have this gatehouse and when I do the planning with wool or whatever we're gonna do later uh, I make this five by five that's gonna be way too small so now I kind of know okay this is how big a gatehouse should be in this style here all right that's the reference point I can use later uh, also here we're playing a little bit with walls okay yeah we can do something like this for the walls uh, also yeah we can do something like this for the styles colors and just playing with the blocks, figuring out what would eventually work for the build that we are gonna do. So once we have a plan made in our drawing program, we have figured out what blocks to use, we have figured out the scales that we wanna work with, we have figured out pretty much everything that we can figure out at this stage, we start placing in the plan. You don't start by building straight away, Use some wool, use some temporary blocks, just shape it up, figure out where things are going to be and just like in case as I've mentioned that it's not really fitting. You can just move it like a little bit to the right or to the left so you can squeeze everything in and I like to do it just like in the air so that you can build freely and then eventually you can yeah squeeze it in, move it around using world edit. If you have that, if not you might have to do some redoing here but it's a really good tool of making sure that everything works. So just build the plan up after the one you have designed in your drawing program. So here we have the plan in the map and I gotta say it's looking awesome. It's really really accurate to the plan we made which I like. It's always hard to translate the digital map or layout into the game uh, but I think it works here. We have some great scales. We should have enough space to work with which is what I'm really concerned about always is do I have enough space to actually do what I want here and when we do this proper planning here we're uh, sure that we do that so um, just a little bit of a teaser for future up, uh, future videos, upcoming videos where we're going to use this. We have this nice little swamp here. We got this little place on the top uh, I'm gonna probably have to move it slightly so that it kind of fits a little bit more uh, but also do some terraforming and stuff that's something you have to do after this stage uh, and that's gonna be probably for another video if you guys want that uh, but we have the planning done uh, place this down start building and you just take it from there if you have done the first stages the things I've given you uh, earlier in the video here properly you're gonna have a great time building, it's gonna turn out epic. There's nothing gonna stand in your way of making the builds of your dreams. So guys, that is all I got for today. I really do hope that you enjoyed the episode. I hope it was helpful. Hope I cleared up some stuff that you guys have been wondering about. If so, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see all of you guys later. It's been Viggo Man, and I'm out.